Now, math vocabulary is very important for our students to understand, and it's very important that they learn it in a manner that is clear and concise. Think about math and all of the different words that are specific to math that our students, especially our English language learners, might really struggle with. The concept of negative, for example. In most aspects of life, when we're talking about something that's negative, we're talking about something that's bad. In mathematics, however, when we're talking about something that's negative, we're referring to an amount less than zero. Think about the word sum, S-U-M versus S-O-M-E. In math, sum, a sum is the, an is the answer to an addition problem. Outside of math, sum can take on a totally different meaning. In addition to which, there's the concept of whole, an H-O-L-E, like a hole in the ground, versus a W-H-O-L-E, a hole or the total of, of the parts. So math has some words that are very specific to math that we really need to explicitly teach and, uh, and help the students understand the vocabulary so that they're able to use it in the mathematical concepts and principles. All right, here's a fun one that I do with my students with re regarding vocabulary. See if you can solve this mystery. A man walks into a cave. While he's inside the cave, a huge rock boulder falls in front of the entrance, completely sealing him off. He's now trapped inside the cave, and there's no way out. All he has is a small stick. How does he save himself? All right, you ready? He takes the stick. He breaks the stick into two halves. He takes the two halves to make a hole, and he climbs out the hole. In math, some words like hole are totally different, and we've got to explicitly teach the vocabulary that our students need to know in order to help them be successful, especially our English language learners and the students who come to us with very limited vocabularies.